cannot see the present if you're staring into the past. You cannot have a past without having a present. And you cannot plan the future by the past. Not bad. I wonder what it means. How old do you think it is? Oh, I don't know. At least 10,000 years, I should say. I would place an early Bronze Age. Well, whoever owned this must have eaten his spinach. Wonder what ever happened to men like that. I believe they all moved to Barstow. <laughs> I want you to send our findings back to England. I'll stay and continue the excavation. Oh, don't worry, Sydney. I'll also keep looking for your watch. Rightio. I'm here in Boulder, Colorado, on an archaeological expedition for the um, British Museum. Uh, perhaps you're not familiar with our organization. No, man! You'll have 30 minutes to complete this quiz on last night's reading. If you did your homework, you'll have no trouble. If you didn't, well, I'll let you say I wouldn't make any plans for this summer, Maxwell. Man, if it's true only the good die young, he's gonna live to be 150. You must come at once, mighty one. The portal's nine steps to the west, 17 steps to the north. You know, for a bird, he sure has great timing. Oh! Uh, is that an all-purpose moan, or does it uh, signify a certain problem, Maxwell? Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt the test, sir, but <gasps> I think you're dying. May I see the nurse? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. <coughs> oh, sorry, I didn't see it there. <laughs> Safe inside. Hey, what's up, Birch? Another factory recall? You can't hide forever. When I get my hands on you, I'll tear you limb from limb. His name, Spike. Yeah, definitely a type A personality. <laughs> I'd sure hate to be the poor slob who crossed him. You are Norman. I told you I'd find you. If you leave now, we can call it even. Okay, so we'll say you won. How's that sound? Now I'll we'll rip you into little tiny pieces. We must do something to save Norman. Whoa! Good idea. And while we're at it, maybe we could do something to save ourselves?
Are you all right, Norman? Yeah, I, I was just letting Spike think he had the upper hand. That pop quiz is starting to look pretty good. Ah! Oh, if I tear another pair of pants, Mom's gonna kill me. Hurry, mighty pants. Norm, is Spike always like this? No, he's usually not in this good of a mood. to do there's no way down well there may be one way down no no i can't if i were meant to fly i would have been born with wings don't you just hate it when you miss your train beat Spike. I can't win. Oh, say it ain't so, Normie. You could beat anyone. No, not Spike. Really? Well, how'd you ever get tangled up with Mr. Congeniality there in the first place? It all started when I was a child, 10,000 years ago. I was living with my father, Ehrlich. He was a great warrior, but wished for peace in his later years. Our tribe no longer fought or hated or killed. But all that changed the day Spike came. If you come in peace, you are welcome. We have no quarrel with you. And we have none with you. Father! And now you die! Norman, my war axe.
gotten my father's axe to him in time, he'd be alive today. I'm supposed to be the guardian, but in truth, I'm a failure. Norman! Kesu! <laughs> Suppose that could be the porter coming for our tickets, do you? Man, don't you just hate hangers on? Let's make tracks. Where's the nearest portal? If my calculations are correct, there should be a portal very nearby. I would say it's just about here, more or less. You were saying? Well, it's your call, Normie. You can run for the rest of your life, or you can stand and fight to the death. I just don't think I can win. Oh, come on, Norm. You can beat this wimp. You're a big guy. Yeah, but he's a bigger guy. Oh, yeah. He does make a point. But I would like to avenge my father's death. If only I had his war axe. A war axe? Now, personally, I'd rather have an AK-47 and a couple thousand rounds of ammo. But you can beat him anyway, Normie! You gotta try. It is the only way, isn't it? Then, let us go. But why are we here? This is where it all began. It is time I returned home and faced the past I've been running from so long. Which way do we go? My guess would be that way. Oh, please, please let me go. I'll give you anything. I'll have a wing at the museum named after you. Okay, 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 the whole museum. I believe you're looking for me. I'm surprised you showed. You ran the last time I saw you. You'd run too if I had a face like yours. He's all yours, big guy. Break a leg. Uh, well, break his leg. Do you really think I can beat him? Hey, I got 50 cents riding on your buddy. Don't let me down. Uh, excuse me, if you're still taking beds, I'd like five pounds on a bloke with a stick in his face. <laughs> oh, this is too easy. If I must die defending my honor, then so be it. Save the speeches! It's time I finished what I started 10,000 years ago. Man, if only Norman had his father's axe, he might have the confidence to win. Uh, excuse me, would that be a large war axe with a half-moon-shaped blade? Have you seen it? Oh, yes. I dug it up several days ago. That's it! Norman has a chance! Oh, no. No, I'm afraid not. I already sent it back to England. There's no way we can get it here in time to save your friend. Obviously, you've never heard of Mighty Max. Have portal, we'll travel. We must go at once. Go where? Don't worry, Normie! We'll be right back! What a fascinating way to travel! Yeah, and we don't have to put up with airline food either. Oh dear, it's locked. What is the world coming to? Nobody trusts anyone anymore. I'm afraid with the time difference, we still have ten hours before the museum opens. Yeah, well, I guess we'll just have to break in. I say, uh, that sort of thing is illegal in this country. Sounds positively exciting. <laughs> it appears your friends have deserted you. Like the way you deserted your father. I didn't desert my father! You! You! Monster! Oh! Sticks and stones!
bones can break your bones. <laughs> oh, that is so much fun. It's a shame soon it will all have to end. Oh, I do hope we're doing the right thing. I don't believe the Queen would approve of ruffians stealing her exhibits. How can we be stealing an axe that Norman already owns? Well, I suppose that is something to hold on to while we rot in prison for the rest of our lives. Hey, you guys! Over here! I found a way in! Wonder if any of those guys is Norman's dad. I believe it's over this way. Oh, smashing idea. But how do you suppose we get down there? Shh. Wait, there may be security devices. Uh-huh, just as I suspected. Now first, I will have to disable the alarm wire securing the lid. Then, I will use a mirror to deflect the beam from the infrared motion detector. And finally, I will exchange an object of equal weight so as to circumvent the pressure alarm. <laughs> I got a better idea. There's a portal nearby, but we'll never make it without a diversion. Hey, diversions are what I do best. Um, guys, do me a favor and don't say anything about this to my mom. You know how she gets when I destroy priceless museum treasures. Your father was a weakling, and so are you. Never talk about my father! Yes! I would be ashamed of him too if I were you. I'm not ashamed of my father! That doesn't matter. You'll be joining him shortly anyway. Norman! Here! <gasps> my father's axe. Now I can avenge his death. Over my dead body! <laughs> Works for me. Virgil, Norman, and I went to the Rocky Mountains, which stretch all the way from Alaska through Canada to New Mexico. I bet you didn't know they formed the Continental Divide. All streams east of the Divide flow toward the Atlantic Ocean. All streams to the west flow toward the Pacific Ocean. Kind of a big decision for a little drop of water. See you next week.